Hey guys, so I'm back here. This isn't quite the nut draw, but it's definitely not a mulligan. So I guess we just have to take it. Um, Alright. Well, that made it possibly the nut draw. Um, hold on. So if we play this, and then next turn we sack it, we get... Okay, so it's not turn three Cyclops like I'd thought. It only escalates by two, so it's turn four Cyclops. Alright, that's fine. The next card is something we could have played early next turn, and would be kind of annoyed. <laughs> Ugh! Because he got them lands. Is it weird that I actually want to asphyxiate that? I just don't want that running around these parts, you know? Alright. Our opponent is stuck on mana. And we are not. So, instead of playing just a 2-1... We're going to play Market Festival and pass the turn. Um, so if our opponent is just remains stuck for the rest of the game, this shouldn't be that difficult. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can... Can play a Demolock and then force him to make a decision. My guess is he's just making it a 6 6 because he doesn't want to get his Black Source blown up, but I have no idea what this guy's prerogative is. Maybe he wants to get his Black Source blown up. I'm just saying, 5 mana 6 6s are just as good almost as 4 mana 6 6s. Almost! Although 4 mana 6 6 6s usually come with drawbacks. This one may not here. We still get to play Sator Hedonist. Alright, so he went the 5 mana 6 6 route. I mean, that's probably what I was I would have done if I was him. That's your best way to win. Um, I mean, unless you just think I have stone cold nothing in my hand, you just have to continuously draw lands, uh, which he has not done. So, let's see what happens when he goes to attacks here. What can he have? I have no idea, um, but I'm going to block the non enchantment creature. Because that gives me destructive revelry isn't out. Maybe he was just suiciding attackers there because he had nothing else to do. Uh, minus X, minus X, where X is the number of cards in your hand. Sweet. Well, I would have actually never seen that as a card ever, so. I guess I'm glad I got beat by it now. Alright, um, so this is an interesting situation. We could have kept Rolling Red up for sack protection, but I'm not really sure we're protecting from at this point. Um, and it's probably better just to keep tricks up, although, never mind, that's terrible. That was an awful way to tap my mana. Now, Lee's Presence obviously just keeps all possible tricks up, because it's an all-colored land. Uh, yeah, I'm really bad at this, mag this Magic the Gathering thing. Do you know it? I'm bad at it. Except when it comes to drafting five color Cyclops aggro. Ooh! That's a. That's a spicy one, as they say. I have to assume he has the bounce spell, so I'm just not doing anything. No bounce spell. Alright. I guess, like, once he was committed, he was committed. That doesn't make sense. No, that doesn't make sense. If he had the bounce spell, he would have used it. So can he come back from this? I do not know. Although I will say, 
that two ones aren't nearly as good when you play them on like turn six. So he two formed himself to get rid of the Demolock, which is fine. He's now attacking, which makes me think he has Triton Tactics. Or he just has something big he's going to play. Okay, that's fine. Um, in response, I'm just going to... Do that, I guess. So we can put him to three. Four swamp. All right, didn't need those anyways. Land. Um. Just put him to three. Probably not the best here. I'd rather just attack for eight and see if he chump blocks. She does. All right, that way we don't need to use our banishing light, and we can possibly use it on something much better. We should be in control. I mean, obviously the issue um, with the position he's in right now is that he has to deal with an eight seven, and he only has five mana to do it every turn and keep like putting threats on the board. The issue with our position. Um, is definitely the opposite of last game in that we've drawn a lot of lands. There's an actual threat. So, for one blue, Triton Tactics is the only thing I can think of. You could make one of them a 4 4, but that doesn't help. Alright, um, so because this can get, like, suited up really easily here, I think we just, we're just going, we're just going for broke. Um, I guess I should have made, I definitely should have made that decision pre-combat, I played a little fast and loose there, um, because I could have also attacked with this and put him to 11. Uh, hopefully that does not come back to bite us. 684, our brethren in arms, and Hall of Triumph, my guess is on blue. Alright, yeah, so if he's on 11 here, then he goes to 1 instead of 3. Which, again, is not likely to matter. But could. I have no idea. He could have Bounce Bell. He could have a number of things. He could have had... Um, Sip of Hemlock there, and then a creature on the next turn if I didn't draw anything. There are a lot of things he could have had. So he is a mono enchantments. Which makes me think that Pinnacle of Rage, once again, is going to be the actual nuts. He also seemed relatively aggressive, which once again makes me think that we want more two drops. So I'm tempted to add Swift, or er, uh, not Swift Claw, Flesh Man Steed. But I don't know what we want to take out. Bioblight seems fine. Banishing Light. Grip Tide seems very good against his enchantments as it's able to, like, bounce bestow creatures and things. Seder Hedonist is good. Nelia's Presence is good. Uh, the Giant and the Tromper is fine, although the Tromper may actually be misplaced here. Take out the Tromper. If we're not playing big things, I'm not exactly sure what we want to do. Also, Rage of Perforce is not great. Um, I'd rather have the early 2-2 two -two in this matchup, I think. And then Pinnacle is going to be able to 2 for 1 him, whereas Rage won't be able to. Uh, that's why I'm making that swap. Also, with any blue deck, any blue-black deck, the game could go very long, which is why I read the bones is so crucial. Alright, so we'll tee it up here. The issue with Ferris Band Tromper is it's like one less win condition. Um, so that's a way to look at it. But with two of those giants, a Nessie and Demolock, and a Miscutter Hydra, we should be okay. Um, and this draw is just the actual nuts. We would prefer one of those fours to be a Swamp, but that's fine. Like, it's doable. Alright, so now we would really prefer one of those fours to be a Swamp. 
So now we'd really prefer one of those fours to be a swamp. Is that is that what I'm getting at? I think we'd prefer one of those fours to be a swamp. Um, so next turn we have the ability to bio blight. We don't have the ability to asphyxiate, but I wanted to put pressure on the board because uh, chariots is very good. And so if you don't have pressure. You generally are not in a good place. So the only thing I could see us wanting to annihilate his presence bio blight would be something like um, Insatiable Harpy. Airy Worshippers. That card is the actual nuts. Ooh, and we get to asphyxiate it. And uh, our demo lock next turn is going to be able to take care of his chariots, I assume, unless we need to use Bioblight. In which case, we will annihilate his presence into Bioblight. Export right in. Alright, so that means he's going to equip. Yeah, it's fine. He is not outracing us at this point. If he lets us blow something up, we're blowing up his blue source, which he has to know. Um, he could just be like sandbagging the blue source, which would be fine. Also, he's going to have to have a trick or a bestow and jam in something to get past his nesting demolock, in which case we'll hopefully be able to bl blow him out next turn. So we're looking to be in really good shape. If he attacks, we're snap blocking. No attacks on his part. So we're going to take it kind of slow here. I'm just going to play the presence. Draw a market festival. So we're going to be interested in playing that, but we're first going to attack. Ideally, he blocks and has some type of trick, and we're able to two for one. But at that point, I'm just getting super greedy. So we actually keep Bioblight up here, I think. Although advancing our board does let us Pinnacle of Rage next turn. No, this just lets him get us. Like, this lets us get him really good. We're able to do that. We'd rather him not have more turns to draw out of things. And then we'll be able to put him to two, and then Pinnacle Rage will kill him. We cannot pinnacle him this turn, sadly. Um, wait, if we read the bones and lead four mana up and then draw a mountain, that does not let us pinnacle him either. Alright, red, red, don't care. Read the bones. Ooh. Um, both are things that we are rather interested in. Uh, Flash Run Seed just die, does die to a Chariot of Torment here, but that's not an issue. And he's dead to pretty much everything. I don't think there's an out. Alright, so... That's how you go 2-0 with a weird 5-color mono ramp deck. Uh, see you guys in the finals.